everyone, it's me Zoha and today I'm going to be reading you guys The Wonder. Um, in the front cover you can see a picture of a black and white boy and this is by Faye Hansen and the title is really colourful, um, it's like it's all different colours, like bright colours and it's really pr beautiful. But if we look at the back, uh, you can see this little um, paragraph that we can read, so let's read. It says, in his art class, the boy finds a blank piece of paper waiting. At first, he can't think of anything at all to draw. Just use your imagination, the art teacher tells him. So one thing that I have actually found during re re reading this, um, it says, in his art class, the boy. So they don't tell you what his name is or who he is. So that's also really interesting to me. But you can see the boy and he is have, he has a paper in front of him and a pencil. So, yeah. So if you open this book, you guys can see there's another little paragraph that we can read. So it says, this is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. Having his head in the clouds can cause trouble. But when the boy's daydreams are finally set free, they grow and grow and grow. An incredible, adve an incredible adventure into the world of one boy's imagination. So that looks, it looks like a really good book. So let's read. So it says, The Wonder. Okay. This is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. So here's a boy. Maybe that's his mom uh, putting his jacket on for him. On his way to on the way to the bus stop, he wonders where the birds are flying to. So there he is, um, l um, on the sitting on the bench and looking at that little hummingbird. I think. Next picture says, "You've got your head in the clouds," says the park park keeper as the boy nearly stepped on his freshly mown grass. So it says, "Keep off the grass." And there's the man, and there's the little boy. But I see something up in the tree. Um, I really don't know what that is, actually. Just this um, big orange, bright, really bright thing that I'm not really sure what it is. So if you keep reading, maybe we'll... Waiting for the bus. He wonders who makes the clouds. That's a really odd thing to wonder, but yeah, like who makes the clouds? <laughs> Wake up, daydreamer, grumbles the bus driver as the boy bumps into another passenger. So they're in the bus and I can see another thing, which is a car that's flying and there's an airplane on top. That's really weird. If You guys can see it up in that corner. And this one's also orange and red. So here's the picture. Okay. Crossing the street. He wonders what the crossing guard's sign would taste like. Now, now that's like that's really weird because you don't want to taste a stop sign. It depends on what the crossing guard is holding. It's usually um stop sign as you can see. It says stop. But yeah. And then it says, pay attention, snaps the crossing guard. So there's the crossing guard. And instead, if you can see in this picture, she's holding a stop sign. But then when you see this picture, she's holding this like a wand and it's bright yellow. So yeah, that's cool too. When he gets to school, he wonders that the best playground in well, he wonders what the best playground in the world might be like. So that's the picture. And it says, no daydreamers dreaming today, warns his teacher. So that's his te her teacher, his teacher. And that's a big, I personally don't know what that is either because that looks really like a big doorway and it's like different colors, like red, white, and blue. And then it says, in his science class, he wonders how the stars shine. You can't be scattered brain in a laboratory, barks the science teacher. There that is. There's the science teacher and that's him and then that's that 
that there's lots of magical things in these pictures because this is also another thing um i think that's the map of the world in that like ball but um i can't really can't really know i don't really know what that is either in his art class the boy finds a blank piece of paper waiting at first, he can't think of anything at all to draw. Just use your imagination, the art teacher tells him. So, there he is. The same picture at the back, as you can see. Oops, sorry about that, guys. And then it says, so he does. And so there's a picture there. And there's a big orange piece of birds. So, they're cute little birds. And they, they look like goose or ducks. So, that's... <laughs> Wow, look at this. Oh my god, that's such a beautiful picture. And it says, don't keep off the grass. So you can, it's, that's really weird, don't keep off the grass. And it says, dig for victory. It's different sign. This is a very beautiful picture. Definitely one of my favorite pages, as you can see. It's really pretty, different little, it's, I think the roots of a tree, and there's different things inside each root. And then there's another picture, and this is the big, oh, I know what these are. So all of these pictures lead to a story, because on the first picture, as you can see, wait, I'll show it to you. This is the first picture, and you can see the orange thing at the top, and so that is what this is picture. And then the next picture would be... Would be this one and as you can see there's that which almost looks like this and so we have the next picture which is this which is really really big um there's different there's i think this is the rainbow one and so let me go find that page and so this is the page and this is the stop sign one so there that is so you can picture and there's another one now this is really big this is a bunch of polar bears and i also find that one for you guys so this is that one these they both look pretty similar as you can see and then i'll turn the page and this is the last picture oh no i don't think that is but and as you can see there's this this is the one where they're in the science laboratory and i'll show you guys that one and this is that picture as you can see that big magical globe over there so the whole picture um okay so it says time to stop says the, the his art teacher i'd like each of you to share what you've done trembling the boy walks slowly to the front of the classroom how wonderful declares his art teacher what an incredibly, incredible imagination you have. Which of course is true, because this is a boy whose head is filled with wonder. So that is the picture he drew. And that's his mom and his dad, and that's him. Nice big family. And it says, enough to share with everyone. That's that picture. They have really beautiful... Um, illustrations in this book and then that's the last picture and i hope you guys enjoyed this video but before we go i want to show you guys my favorite pictures um, please sh and write in the comment section below which one was yours so i'll show you guys mine mine was definitely this one i love how magical it was and it was so pretty with all those birds the orange i don't i just i'm gonna call them birds because they look like birds and they fly but this was definitely one of my favorite pages and please i want you guys to write in the comment section below which was your favorite page but um hope you guys like this video please be sure to subscribe like comment and share and see you in my next video bye